No, but I will buy it for you from a price. I will not offer burnt offerings to the Lord my God that cost me nothing. David's the king. He can have whatever he wants. And this guy's being kind. The guy's even saying, take my, take my oxen. Take my wood. Use my property. It's all yours. And David says, no. I want to pay because I will not worship the Lord with something that costs me nothing. Is that your heart this morning, brothers and sisters? Do you want your worship of God to be costly? And that you refuse to worship Him if it doesn't cost you? And again, this is not just about money this morning. It is about costly worship. Costly worship is worship that you feel. That we had to lose or lay down or give up something that we might let hold of Christ. Hebrews 13 says the Bible is a sacrifice of praise that we give to the Lord. Can you say that this morning? That this is a sacrifice of praise, not a convenience of praise, but a sacrifice? Costly worship involves our time. Do we give up time for God and for His kingdom? Like some of you need to do a financial audit. Some of you need to do a time audit. You're, you're always saying, I don't have enough time to worship God. Well, how are you spending your time? Maybe it's time to keep track of it. It's funny how a YouTube video here and there, and all of a sudden we spend an hour every day on social media. For some of you, it's just easy. to You'll, you'll give money all day long because you have enough of it. But to give your time is what God really wants of you. 